Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, as you see from the title, we are making Michael Jordan in NBA 2K21 next gen. Some people, they don't like the game, but for those of you who are still on the game, still grinding the game, and want to make a Michael Jordan build, this video is especially for you. So, let's get right into it. Obviously, name your player Michael Jordan. I don't have the face creation just yet, but we will soon. Because I kind of want to make a shooting guard type of player, I'm not going to lie. So, we're going to get right into it. So, make him a shooting guard, right hand. Obviously, you got to put that number 23 on his jersey. So, let's go. He was 6'6". Michael Jordan, in his first 3 P actually weighed 205 pounds. But during his second 3 P he did weigh 216 pounds. And that's when people say Michael Jordan was at his best during his second three-peat, during seasons from like the 95, 96, 96, 97, 97, 98. Like that's when they're saying he was the best all-around player that he was. And, you know, so we're going to go with that right there. His wingspan was around like six foot eight. It was around there. like So we're going to leave it right there at six foot eight. Put him as defined, or you can even put him at slight, but I'm going to put him at slight just because he was, he was like, he was ripped, but he wasn't like huge, if you know what I'm saying. He wasn't like a bodybuilder, you know what I'm saying? He was a basketball player, but he was still ripped, so we're going to put him at compact. Head over to the attributes. Let's get right into it. So, obviously... Michael Jordan, he's known for his finishing, driving dunk. So we're putting that all the way up. Shot close, we're putting that up too. And now, for the mid-range, putting that up. Because obviously Michael Jordan had a phenomenal mid-range. We're going to put up his three-point shot. Michael Jordan was really good at free throws, but this build is mostly for the park. So we're not going to be touching free throw. Unless you really want to like take this build into like the rec center, grind out in my career, then put up your free throw. But this build is mostly for the park and stuff like that to have fun in the park. So we're only going to do that. And since we are going into the park with this build, before we even touch playmaking, we're putting vertical all the way up. We're putting everything up in the physicals. Because obviously Michael Jordan was an athletic freak. As you could not tell, he could dunk from the free throw line. He can jump out of the gym. He soared. Obviously, that's why they called him Air Jordan. So, everything up in this category right here. We have 20 total upgrades left. So, we are going to put on perimeter defense. Michael Jordan was a phenomenal defender as he did win defensive player of the year. And was on all defensive first team multiple times. So, we're also going to put up his steal as well. 12 total defensive badges, not too shabby, I'm not going to lie. You could put up like rebounding and stuff like that, but if you're playing park, you're most likely going to have like some kind of power forward or something with you that can rebound, so you're not going to be in a position to be rebounding too much, so don't really touch it at all. If you really want to, go right ahead. But you can also throw on block if you really want to, just to like you see right here, you get two extra defensive badges, and then look, nothing goes up in the, your player's potential. So you get two extra badges pretty much for free right there. So 70 block is really good. You also do get chase down artist, I believe, if I can find the badge on the right-hand side. You do. You get chase down artist on gold. Obviously, you probably need a little bit of interior defense to upgrade that. But you could upgrade for another four badges just for one. But that's interior defense. You don't really need interior defense. I accidentally just went willy-nilly right there on the upgrades. I have to put everything back now. Because I was just trying to take down interior defense. But if you do put up rebounding, that might affect you just a little. You see it puts on three, but then it also puts on six extra badges. So if you do want to be able to rebound with a shooting guard build, which isn't a bad idea... Go ahead and throw that on. But for now, we're not going to touch it because we're going to want some playmaking in our build so we're able to go around and dribble in the park. Because as I'm saying, this is a park build, park Michael Jordan kind of build. 
Obviously, if you want to bring it into the rec center, you can. If you want to primarily play in rec center, maybe even in pro-am, I would upgrade your free throw 100%. Maybe even post control so you can do a little post fadeaways like Michael Jordan does. But you get five extra shooting badges for two of your set, your player's potentials, but for free throw, if you upgrade that a lot, it does take up an extra five, but you get an extra 20 shooting badges. But as you see right here, I want to focus on ball handle and speed with ball. We might not have enough, so obviously we got to downgrade that free throw to at least a 70. Did not mean to upgrade defense right there. Throw that up. You can also like downgrade ball handle just a little or you could put down other things in other categories. But it's better to upgrade speed with ball first. Because it does bring ball handle up with you. I do believe. As it does right there. So you can get a little extra out of it. But obviously. That free throw is hurting you. So I'm just going to say this. If you want to have it in like park. Take off the free throw. If, you're, if you don't play rec center or anything like that, take off the free throw. It is going to hurt you in shooting badges. But it's kind of hard to make a Michael Jordan build, obviously, because you need a little bit of this. You need a little bit of that. So, you know what I'm saying? You could just throw down block, take away those two extra shooting badges or defensive badges and just not have that at all. But block is pretty solid, I'm not going to lie, to have on any kind of player really but you see right there it does take up a lot you could put down speed with ball like a little and then upgrade your ball handle so you can have like decent ball handling obviously michael jordan had some pretty solid ball handling not like crazy crazy but you know it is what it is so unless you just to, like downgrade elsewhere but this is what we're going to end up finishing with. 20 shooting, I mean, 20 finishing, 10 shooting, 1 playmaking, and 12 defense rebounding. If you can find another way to make it, like, better ball handle. Because speed with ball kind of really kills it. Like, they didn't have that in years past. So And they also have, like, post control over there. But, like, that doesn't really matter too much. They did, um like separate a little bit of things here and there they put in the physicals which was never a thing for attribute upgrades but it barely takes up anything so you could put down like strength if anything but like honestly strength is where you get your contact dunks from so you kind of want to keep those and yeah those are the badges let's head right into the next after we put on something somewhere else just throw that on there. Or you can just mess around. See if you get an extra badge anywhere else. Which you most likely won't. Maybe you can get into finishing. Who knows. You can't. It doesn't matter. So we'll throw that on block. Just to get over the 25 hump. And let's get right into it. So obviously Michael Jordan can finish at the rim. I would say that most likely is his primary get through. Get to the basket, you know what I'm saying. So you can either do easy blow buys, which is actually pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie, or you can go with finishing moves, which I like. That's one of my favorite badges. Or you can just completely ignore the finishing and go with like shot creating, maybe even one of the sharp shootings, maybe even both the sharp shootings or the lockdowns. This is this part of the build is completely up to you. Which is the great part. You have so many takeovers to choose from. But personally. What I'm going to go with. Is the slashing. Finishing moves. And then. I would either go with some kind of sharp shooting. Or you can either go with lockdown. Because extreme clamps. Is a really solid badge. When it's activated. Also perimeter badge drop. It does drop badges down a tier. Like when you like. You just like get near them on the perimeter. So let's just say they just have like that that bronze badge on. Just so they can get by in the park. Shoot that corner three. Shoot that corner whatever shot. But now that you're near them and it's activated. They can't do that because the badge isn't there anymore. So you can do that. You can go this. But for me. I'm going with spot up precision. Even though it does say spot up precision. It's. It's like both combined, really. Like, 
I've seen a bunch of YouTubers test them out. Spot of precision is the way to go. We're going to go ahead to the two-way, three-level score. Going to go ahead and test the build. Throw on some badges. See what we're working with. Obviously, Acrobat. We got to go with Slithery Finisher. Posterizer, 100%. You can go with Fearless Finisher, but I don't know. It's a really solid badge, but personally, I haven't tried it out yet. If you tried it out and it works for you, I would put it on definitely. I just haven't done too much, I would guess you could say, research on Fearless Finisher to like to where I would put it on or to know too much whether I should put it on or not. But I'm going with Heat Seeker. That boosts up your takeover a lot. I'm not even going to lie. And then, like, obviously, the way 2K is going this year... I'm throwing on pro Hall of Fame, like pro, um, pro Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame pro touch. Because honestly, you be missing wide open layups left and right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm throwing that on 100%, no doubt. Go ahead and save these badges. Next badges, you got 10 shooting badges. Not bad, not a lot. If you want more shooting badges, don't even upgrade playmaking. But obviously, how can you like really be a Michael Jordan build if you can't create your own shots? You know what I'm saying? So obviously, you're going to have that little bit of playmaking to sacrifice for the shooting. But if you're just going to be a complete off-ball build, which isn't Michael Jordan at all, go ahead, upgrade that free throw. And do what you got to do to get those extra shooting badges. But we're making Michael Jordan. This is most likely for the park build anyways, Michael Jordan build. So... We're going to go ahead and do what we do. So, obviously, you could still throw on Hall of Fame badges. Like, you could throw on, like, that one Hall of Fame. Like, you could throw on, like, Hall of Fame difficult shots. And then you can go, like, Silver Green Machine, Silver Hot Zone Hunter, and then, like, Silver Deadeye or something like that. Or you can even throw Silver on somewhere else. Or it doesn't really matter where you put it on sniper that's well aimed shots that's only if you shoot with the stick just keep that in mind if you end up do putting that on anyways or if you really wanted to you could throw it on catch and shoot because you will be the shooting guard position you're most likely if you're running with this build have some kind of ball handling point guard but you can like create your own shots with this build but you only get one play making badge so I would either put it on like quick first step, space creator, in my opinion. I'm putting that on quick first step just because that helps with dunks and everything as well. So I would definitely throw that on. Ankle braces. I've been hearing this badge does not work at all. So don't even put it on. Don't waste your time with it. Hall of Fame clamps should be the number one thing you put on. Interceptor. Really good badge. I love this badge. Pickpocket. That's really it. That's really all you need for the park. Maybe Tireless Defender, but I feel like Tireless Defender is really only for like Rec Center, Pro-Am, and stuff like that. This is for the park. Only put your badges on Clamps, Pickpocket, and Interceptor. If you don't really want Interceptor, just throw that on Bronze so you get your animations for Interceptor. And then you could throw it on anything else you want. Maybe like Pick Dodger or something. Or you could just do a two-way split like this. It's really up to you how you spend your badge points, but this is what I would personally do. And yeah, this is a Michael Jordan build, an NBA 2K21 next gen. Just keep in mind, this is for a park Pacific build, like a park Michael Jordan build. If you want, like I've been saying the entire video, take it into Rex Center Pro-Am, I would 100% upgrade your free throw, without a doubt. I would definitely change the build up a little bit, but this is what I've made. This is what me, we made together. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys make this build, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what kind of changes I can make to this build. If you have any suggestions, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh.